One morning, as all employees in a company reached office, they all saw a big sign on the main door that read, Yesterday, the person who's been hindering your growth in this company passed away. We invite you to kindly join the funeral in the room that has been prepared in the gym. In the beginning, they all felt sad for the death of one of their colleagues. But after a while, they started getting curious to know who was that person who hindered the growth of their colleagues and the company itself. The excitement in the gym was such that security agents were ordered to control the crowd within the room. The more people reached the coffin, the more the excitement heated up. Everyone thought, who is this person who was hindering my progress? One by one, the intrigued employees got closer to the coffin and when they looked inside it, they suddenly became speechless. They all got to stand near the coffin and all ended up shocked and in silence as if someone had touched the deepest part of their soul. There was a mirror inside the coffin. Everyone who looked inside it could see themselves. There was also a sign next to the mirror that said, there's only one person who's capable of setting limits to your growth, and it is you. Isn't it true, friends, that a change of job or a change of our boss or a change of our life partner or a change of our status doesn't change our life? We have to take ownership of our life without waiting for anything or anyone to do it. And there'll always be bumps, there'll always be challenges, there'll always be troubles in the process of changing ourselves. Our complacency can creep in, our comfort zone may invite us back, lack of results may demotivate us. But if we keep going consistently and persistently, we can transform ourselves and there's no satisfaction greater than that.